Hello guys, welcome back to another video with Chicken Nugget AC, and today I will be showing you how to make custom Java blocks slash items. Um, basically, you just want to go here, click Java block item. I'm going to name my file WarX, and you want the parent model also named WarX, because otherwise it can mess up some stuff and that would not be fun. And then just hit confirm. And everyone knows how to build. Um, you want it facing north, because that's the way that... A weapon always faces so be careful in building that you're not like making it face that way even if you do do it wrong though you can fix it in the display which I will show in a bit I'll be right back after I'm done building all right uh, here's my model so far it looks pretty hot it did take a while to make so I'm happy with how it turned out uh, I did work on it a little bit before I started the video but yeah I think it looks pretty good okay for the paint the paint is a bit weird when you do it um, you can't do it like normal you have to do create texture and then rename your texture war axe or whatever your name of your model is and then you want to hit the template hit confirm and then don't touch any of this and hit confirm and you should be able to begin painting all right i have finished painting this actually turned out really cool um i also did work on the texture a little bit before i started recording but i feel happy with how it turned out it's a pretty beautiful axe um i feel like the stick is a bit basic compared to the head but anyways, um, when you go to the display, you can mess around with all this stuff. You can make it longer and stuff like that. And you can move it from back, forth, side to side. You can stretch it out to be ridiculous looking if you want. Um, I don't really like the look of that, so I'm going to like keep it down here somewhere. And then you'll have to like set it up in the GUI and rotate it however is needed and move it around. Same with the frame and on the ground, you can like change what it looks like when it's on the ground. I don't know why you'd want this, but you can also change what it looks like when it's on your head. Uh, first person left, first person right, I kind of angled it out, because yeah, why not? Um, yeah, anyways, I'm happy with this turned out, on to mCreator. So when you're in mCreator, you want to uh, basically import the texture for your thing. Um, actually, how you save your texture is you'd want to go to your edit and just hit save as and save it as your war x texture which you should have and also when you're done making your model just hit file and then export block item model and also save it as whatever your name is for the model and then when you get into mcreator you want to import that texture and or wait no i just hit the wrong thing you want to import that texture as a block texture and you should be able to find it which mine's right here and you want to import that once you're done importing that you want to go to 3d models texture mappings and hit import json 3d model and you should find your weapon which mine is right here and then when you open it up it should ask for texture mapping just click here add your texture mapping and save the mapping um, so basically in mod elements you want to create your tool and the tool texture here doesn't really matter, you can make it whatever you want, but the problem is is that's how it will appear in mCreator, so you might not be able to recognize your item. And then you just set the model for the war axe, go to your properties, set it for whatever you want, and yeah, let's hop into our mod and test it. Alright, as you can see we're in the game, it's a little bit laggy, but there's our beautiful looking war axe. Um, it is in our inventory, and as you can see, we can hold it, swing it, and oh my goodness, there's the butt-faced cow. Um, hey there, buddy. How's it going? Can I just, like... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the models work pretty well if you set it up correctly. Sometimes people don't set it up correctly, and it just doesn't work. I've seen a few failed tutorials on this where the texture models are null. And so, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.